Welcome back. If you're just joining us, you're watching the News at 10 live on Channel's television. A reminder of our top stories. President Muhammad Buhari addresses Nigerians on Democracy Day, lists the achievements of its administration in the past three years, as he vows to end the activities of armed bandits terrorizing parts of the country. Senate President Bukola Saraki cautions against actions and tendencies capable of making a mockery of the ideals of democracy in Nigeria. Speakers at Channel's Forum on Democracy Day X-ray Nigeria's developmental challenges and chart a path for the country's journey out of its current predicament. And three people, including two police officers, shot dead in eastern Belgium by gunmen suspected to be a terrorist. ChannelsTV.com has more information for you. With YouTube.com forward slash channels where you can watch our videos. You can also watch us on your mobile device via your browser or download the Channels TV app for Android, iOS and Windows devices from your respective stores. Besides giving you access to news and updates on the go, the Channels TV and Channels 24 app have an eyewitness feature that you can use to share those pictures, videos or news of happenings around you. Just install the app, then tap and swipe to reveal the menu and follow the instructions. The Democracy Day celebration also provided an opportunity for Channels Television to assemble a group of experts to brainstorm on the many challenges facing Nigeria with a view to proffering solutions to them. At the Channels Forum, held simultaneously in our studios in Lagos and Abuja, the analysts drew from the academia, industry, security, government and other sectors bear their minds on the burning issues facing the country today. The global headquarters of Channels Television in Lagos is the venue of the 2018 edition of the Channels Forum. Technocrats, economic and policy analysts, all carefully drawn from different critical sectors in Nigeria, gather to review, analyze and chart a new course for the country's political and socio-economic development with Channels Television creating a platform for a critical, unbiased and accurate analysis beamed live from Channel's television studios in Lagos and Abuja. The forum begins with an assessment of the change mantra of the ruling All Progressives Congress, APC. Uh, the more things appear to change, the more they remain the same. And so we've had a lot of rhetoric uh, on change. It's just more of the same, quite sincerely. This government does not measure, they don't control, they don't monitor. This is a government that has no key performance indicators for its money ministers. Before we used to hear of ministers being, being uh, compared or being judged on the basis of newspapers, that this one has performed, you know, this one has not performed. Have you heard of anything? Uh, change is something that is continuous. Uh, has change happened at the pace I would prefer? No. But some things are changing. Our agenda, at least, has shifted. Um, they talk about corruption. Perhaps if I were running things, I would approach it differently. But the fact that we are focused on corruption is a major move. Um, the, the, the key issue for me is that the APC and um, its uh, predecessor have not come in any way addressed the fundamental structural issues that we have as in, as a Nigerian and people. And what would you say is And I would top. say that the topmost one is our obsession for lottery that comes out of being an oil-rich economy. It gets heated and even more interactive with panelists disagreeing, the making clarifications and straightening loose ends the on the issue of economy, unemployment, policies, and foreign diplomacy. I mean, only somebody who is inattentive or in denial will say there is no change. In the sense that the numbers are changing, the records are changing. Is we need to study the data. Numbers don't lie, right? And I'll, I'll, I'll put down a quote from uh, Hans Rosling. He says, data allows your political judgment to be based on facts to the extent that what numbers describe reality. 
have we benefited from democracy? That is the question we need to ask ourselves. There is no doubt um, that facts matter, uh, but those facts inform policy. So the first thing you do when you are confronted with the facts he has given is to have a clarity of vision and a clarity of direction. Now, did this government have a clarity of vision and a clarity of direction? Of course it did. Clearly, for the first time, you were told we're going to work on security, we're going to work on anti-corruption, and we're going to work on the economy. What has happened is that um, the level of investment has stabilized, but it's not up to that optimal level. So suboptimality of performance is still a problem. And how do we get there? We get there by actually believing in ourselves and putting in the efforts that are there. The fight now, against corruption comes on the front course, burner, as analysts have their independent views on how the current government is fighting this hydra-headed issue. Others have answers to those views, articulating them, and convincingly too. If you're going to put out a list of looters, all of whom are going, undergoing trial, then just do that for everybody. So you have to include in that list somebody like Oji Kahlo, <coughs> for instance, Oji Kahlo, he's a, now a close confidant of the president. Uh, if the government, secretary of the government of the federation is, has been investigated by the vice president, the national security advisor, and the attorney general of the federation on the basis of which the president has fired him, and you're telling me that that is not authoritative enough to send him to court, there's a problem with fighting corrupt. I know the, the, the case involving the former secretary to the government of the federation has been investigated by at least two panels before now, but the matter is on the table of the EFCC. We are currently doing our investigation, and at the end of the investigation, if we have credible evidence to charge him to court, he will definitely be taken to court. The very first fundamental way to fight corruption is deterrence. The body language of a leader in every context and situation is so significant such that it can send a signal into the entire system. Channels Forum isn't a talk shop, but a platform for national discussion on issues of national interest. The suggestions from these analysts are expected to drive a new Nigeria, especially at this time when the country's democracy is embarking on its 20th year democratic voyage. They say the time to test waters is over, and now is the time to walk the talk. And uh, for me, this issue is on two layers. Well, let's get some more perspective on the practice of democracy in Nigeria. And I'm now being joined live from our Buja studios by a legal practitioner and political analyst, Mr. Daniel Boala. I want to thank you so much indeed for joining us on the News at 10. Nigeria today is marking 19 years of operating democracy as a system of government. How would you assess the journey we have been through so far? Well, thank you, Gimba, for having me. Uh, democracy is a process. It is not like frying eggs or like cooking beans. It is a process you look at the institutions of the states and look at their functions. You look at the participation of the people in the, go in the government of the country. You look at the, in, in the, the, the promotion of human rights you look at uh, the, the promotion of education as well. Now, I believe if you look at it from 1999 up until this day, if you ask for my honest assessment, I would say of the three arms of the government, one that is of concern to me is the legislature. Since 1999 till date, the legislature, and recently we are hearing revelation of how that no bill passes without bribing the legislature. And government is trying in nature. You have the spirit, soul, and body that makes up a complete human being. And that's why you have executive, legislature, and the judiciary. No matter how willful you are in your spirit, if your body is weak, your performance will be limited. No matter how well-intentioned the executive is, if the legislature is not playing its role in supporting the executive, we will not be able to deliver government to the people. And to, since 2015 till date, if you ask for my opinion, I would say... We have the ruling party in government, but we have the opposition in the National Assembly, which is the crux of the problem. And that is not to say that there are no problems here and there on the part of the executive, but fundamentally the problem we have mm. had, it is the non-cooperation of, of the legislature with the executive, which is the reason why we are seeing the problem. But if you ask me, I would say since 1999 till date, 
so far so good. We're united as a country. It was predicted by the, that 2015, Nigeria was going to disintegrate, and we're together today. Now, 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 there are some key ingredients of a democratic practice, such as uh, the rule of law, for instance, respect for human rights, freedom of speech, and etc. How well do you think we have been able to harness all these in the past 19 years? No doubt we have enjoyed uh, freedom of speech, freedom of expression. Now, fundamental human rights, the respect for fundamental human rights and the rule of law, which of course relates to enforcement of judgment of the court and obedience to orders of the court, I would say that so far I have not been impressed by the administration in some sort, especially with regards to certain orders of the court, which was not obeyed by the government or is not being obeyed by the government. But if you look at it from 1999 till today, I believe strongly that the democratic process has enjoyed a trajectory of development over time. And we can do better. But even if you look at places like the United States of America, that has existed for more than 300 years or so, they still have challenges here and there with respect to the obedience to the court order and the rule of law. But in a nutshell, I would say we have, in a, in a, in a way, enjoyed some sort of uh, progress. I'd like to thank you so much indeed for sharing your thoughts with us. Daniel Boala is a lawyer on this uh, uh, Democracy Day, sharing his thoughts with us. Thank you so much indeed. When the news at 10 returns, Minister of Budget and National Planning assesses federal government's growth plan, says Nigerians to reap benefits soon. That's on Business News. Join us again. <laughs>